All right, so we've all heard about cheat days. It's one of those concepts that just leaks all throughout the fitness industry. And what does it even mean? So for most people, they think a cheat day is something where, oh, you know, I've been good on my diet throughout the week. So on Saturday or Sunday or whatever it is, I'm just gonna have a blowout. I'm gonna go to Golden Corral, I'm gonna go to the fondue, I'm gonna get the prime rib, all that stuff, and just go crazy with it, right? Because I was so good the rest of the week, I earned it. Now, cheat days usually don't work, and I'm gonna show you why. So, we're gonna take a couple little examples here. One, we have a week where you're having the cheat day logic, and the other, we're using the high day logic. So let's say for a pretend person that they maintain their body weight on 2,100 calories. So we'll just throw in like about a 300 calorie a day on deficit, or a 300 calorie a day, 300 calorie a day deficit, right? So that's what they're gonna to need to lose weight throughout the week. So for this person, that would be 1,800 calories. So they're plugging along, plugging along, plugging along, doing great, and then boom, cheat day happens. So what happens as a result of this? Let's say that we go back and tally up everything they ate on that cheat day, and it winds up being 3,900 calories. So if you look at the average of all these days, six days at 1,800, one day at 3,900, what it ends up coming out to is 2,100, exactly what they maintain their weight at. So that is by definition as spinning of your wheels as spinning of your wheels gets. So what can you do about it? Let's say that you want to have a day that's higher, but still see progress. That's why you're gonna to wanna to click into the logic of using a high day. So for a high day, you're actually gonna borrow some additional calories from your other six days throughout the week so that way you can make it up and do the same. So in this case, if you want everything to be right where it needs to be with the average throughout the week, you need to borrow 350 from each day. So instead of 1,800, your six day intake is gonna be 1,450. As you can see from this line, there's a little difference between where you were before and where you are. Same thing happens. Golden Corral, 3,900 calorie blowout, but on average, you are 300 under throughout the week, seeing exactly what you need to see in terms of progress. So that's why we highly, highly, highly suggest planning ahead with a high day. This is actually something that's built into Avatar, so you can just choose whatever day you want to be high. You can use a slider to adjust the magnitude of it, because maybe you don't want to go 3,900 calories. You might just want to do 2,500 or something a little bit higher, so that way you don't have to end up borrowing as much. Or you can even set a multiple high days throughout the week it's, it all just is whatever fits your pre preferences. So with that being said, that's why cheat days don't really work because everything's uncontrolled. The more variables that you have control over, the better your results are ultimately gonna be. So once again, cheat days don't work. Don't fall into that trap. What you wanna do is high days. See ya. <laughs>